Salam alaikum and hi everyone. So I got your letters during the examination weeks. So I only had the time to reply now. I'm so sorry for the late reply. But speaking about examinations, I think it is just the same for everyone. It's a very stressful weeks of examinations in in university and etc. But in addition to that, for my situation here, especially in Korea, uh, there is much more. Uh, there is an additional uh, pressure to it because there is this new system uh, that you need to adapt to. Also, there is a lot of different uh, grading system, different marking system, and all of that. So, yeah, basically to sum up, it's really a stressful week, but it's finished now. So. I've got, uh, I've got uh, to reply now. So, I've also heard that you guys are going to Form 5, right? For next year. So, my advice would be for next year in Form 5 or for SPM specifically is that in order to prepare for SPM, first, I think to really listen to what your teachers have said because they have a huge amount of uh, experience in dealing with uh, SPM examinations and also in preparing students to go for that examinations. They have years of experience. They have so just follow their instruction on the, your schedules and also do all of the work they ask you to do. Don't skip a practice or a homework because it really helps you to like get, uh, tackle the problems and questions in SPM because basically SPM more most of the question is just uh, a questions of pattern right because there is a pattern of question that you can deal and familiarize before the exam in order to actually answer the question successfully so there is one second advice I would say about uh, to really uh, identify your weaknesses and strengths and focus more on your weaknesses because there are subjects that is much more harder for each individual and you have to identify and then you have to focus more your efforts on that weaknesses in order for you to um, polish up and to actually really make sure that you have a full grip of the uh, subject or of the topic. Thirdly, I think uh, I think starting from my year or before that, I think experience question has become much more uh, it has become much more harder because there's a lot more uh, hot and kebab or kebab questions in it. So I think the, the thing with kebab questions that how to deal with them is that first you have to really understand and you have to really uh, have a full grasp of the question of the facts in the books that you learn in class because most of the question is a derivative of that. Because even if you do not, you might say that we do not learn it in class, but it is some sort of an application of the knowledge that you have. So what I want to say is do not be afraid of uh, thinking outside of the box and do not be afraid to actually make up your answer because with Kaibats, there is always a possibility for your answer to be correct. Yeah, so it's only mean uh, the matter of using the correct facts that the question wants and to relate those facts with the questions and then you make up your answer from there yeah so to sum up I think just do not uh, please please listen to your teachers um, your weaknesses and strengths and lastly please uh, don't be afraid to think outside the box to make up your own answer even if it is not what you learn in school yeah okay I think that's it so good luck for next year